see. Uh, so look, uh, it's very hot here in uh, at the canyon of Alice, Eastern Cape. Very hot. Water. Mm. Gotta have it. So look, real quick, um, I, I hadn't intended to, to talk at all because I posted already with this matter. <clears throat> but I need to get this out uh, because I just, uh, you know, I have paid, yeah, I saw several films last year when I was in the States or whatever, you know, uh, uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, uh, uh, Parasite, um, I don't know, uh, Ford versus Ferrari, but stuff I saw, uh, Joker, of course. <clears throat> anyway, uh, so I'm not really interested and, uh, you know, for me, Academy Awards, it, it's, it's spe speculative, whatever have you, for the people there, you know, just get the chance for them to, you know, network and get new jobs or whatever it is, so become whatever, famous. Um, anyway, but uh, I ran across uh, on YouTube, I ran across uh, Joaquin Phoenix, who uh, won uh, uh, Joker, uh, Best Actor for Joker, at the in the, the uh, awards that come out of England, you know, the BAFTAs or whatever it's, it's called. And he made this speech. And I said, huh. And I, for some reason, I heard his speech, but I said, uh, but it was it was a tiny bit, I want to say off. No, not off, but it was like, oh, that's good. At least somebody's saying this. But it wasn't like, you know, I would have made some edits. Let's put it that way. Then I uh, saw uh, just now, you know, because, again, I, I didn't watch Academy Awards or anything like that, but I saw his speech or heard his speech that he did uh, for winning the Oscar, you know, the, for Best Actor. Um, for Leslie, lead, lead actor, uh, in a you know in a film motion picture, and that would be when he went when when Joker. So he made a speech for that. That speech was phew, astounding, amazing. I got to speak about the rise of the Phoenix here. Uh, not even a, Joaquin Phoenix. Is interesting. He's he's. I find the most interesting people people who have traveled extensively, especially in their childhood. Joaquin Phoenix, you know, traveled a lot, been a lot of different circumstances in his childhood. A lot of stuff they said about an impress, whatever, it's kind of stupid. I like when he went off that thing when he was being a hip-hop or rapper. Uh, we know that was bogus, for him. not bogus, but you know, he was, I won't say playing, but you know, he was, you know, taking another journey down another way. That's all. So um, I don't look at him as crazy or nothing like that. Um, but anyway, but when he won, I go like, wow, that's interesting. But what more, what's more interesting to me is that Parasite won. Now I saw Parasite, let me just say this, I have to say this. In the early 2000s, um, you know, like, well, 2004, 2000, well, mid-2000s, 2004, 2005, uh, I, when I was in Cape Town, I was hanging out with a guy, his brother named Peter, who was uh, actually from the Bronx. <laughs> Bronx boys in Cape Town. What's the likelihood? Anyway, uh, so we, we started watching a lot of Korean films, a lot of foreign films, Japanese, Korean films, you know, like Itchy, Itchy the Killer, you know, uh, the whole thing, Old Boy. All those kinds of, you know, uh, Kurosawa, the whole, all, we did a whole tear on, on, on basically um, Asian films like that, uh, Chinese films, whatever it is. And so, you know, I'm always, I'm interested in films anyway. So when I was in the States this, uh, this past, whatever, uh, uh, and uh, Parasite was there, and I said, oh. And so actually, I saw it quite by accident because I was going down, I, I, I was spending the night, some, I was being someplace, I wasn't. I was in New York, but I forgot what, what happened. But I wanted to get my Mahmoud falafel. Falafel with my Mahmoud's down in the village, in the, in the West in, in, in Greenwich Village, or West Village, is like the best, you know? Well, it's not the best in the world. The best in the world I ever had was uh, in, in Paris, outside of, well, in Paris, with the Moroccan, there's a whole Moroccan strip, they make falafels. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So, um, so, I, so, you know, so I wanted that falafel. So when I, when I went there to get the falafel, I saw a plane there, I guess, the Waverly, whatever that did there on, you know, where it's down there by the, that theater there. It's a movie theater. They showed a lot of uh, film festivals, you know, like events and stuff like that. Anyway, uh, it was playing Parasite, you know. So I went to check and I said, well, the next show was like in like two hours. And so it was a while. So I said, mm, should I, should I? I said, well, I'm not going to get another chance to see this film because I want to see it. You know, I, I want to, I like to see film as film, not as, not as video, not as a little bit and with people. Um, so I, I, I got the falafel and I just walked around the West Village for a while, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, and then the theater, you could sit down and, you know, so I just chill, chill, chill. Um, and then I saw the film. I said, wow, it was a good film. I, I liked the film a lot. It was a really well-made film. You know, I could see all kinds of things that was just, just wonderful about it, right? Now, what was interesting to about it is that 
for me, when I came, I wouldn't think of it, well, I thought of it consciously, but uh, I, there's certain like uh, formulas, tropes, or whatever you want to say, like boy meets girl, boy, you know, da 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 da, da the whole, all those things. And one of the things that's popular is this whole, um, uh, uh, they call it um, you know, upstairs, downstairs. I think that the, that, that, that thing they did on TV for PBS or not PBS, but you know, the English, the Down, Downton Abbey, you know, the, the one class and another class is clearly defined. Well, for me, Parasite is that, you know, but, but what's more interesting about Parasite is like, well, who's the Parasite? You know, you, you could, it's just, you know, is the upper class people Parasite or the Paris or the low, the downtrodden people Parasite? It's just a fascinating film. It's a wonderfully done film and they got enough characters uh, it just it's just wonderfully done. It's, you know, the different ages, the, the 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 amount of it's just it's just really really good. If you haven't seen Parasite, I have to warn you, it is in Korean, so you have to read the read the thing. So if you're not into reading, I don't know. I guess they'll dub it sooner or later since the one Academy Award. You're going to have some sort of dubby uh, happening there, but see it if you can. So I was quite surprised that it won. I was I was super surprised. I said, oh, you know. Then this other brother won for. Um, uh, for a live uh, live documentary, something like that. There's something about hair. Oh, that was good. My brother wins. Yay. Yay. <laughs> um, but when Joaquin made his speech, uh, and by the way, let me go back to Joker. If you haven't, I'll try to put a link to, I uh, had an extensive conversation with Mike Sargent, uh, film critic for WBAI and a bunch of other uh, places. We had about 45 minutes talking about Joker. And uh, so I'll try to put a link there so you can check it out if you want. Um, but Joke to Me was a very important film. It was a very well done film, but more, and, and Mark King just knocked it out of the park, as they say. You know, by the way, you know, shout out to, uh, to Brad, Brad Pitt. I think Brad Pitt did well. He, he should have won for, um, what do you call that, uh, Best Supporting Actor in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Great. I like, I like that film a lot, by the way. Okay, back to, the, back to what I was saying about Joaquin. So, so, when, so when Joaquin uh, 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 does his, you know, uh, did his speech, you know, I was looking, I said, wow, because he, in the, as the Joker, he played to me, he was part of the downtrodden, okay? They would forget the race part, it's just down, downtrodden. And that mask he put on, the Joker face, the red, white, and blue, was America. And anybody, and it was America. So he became, from the downtrodden, he became what America is, you know. People say villain, crazy, whatever have you. Well, that's America. Anyway, there's a whole down one get to it. Uh, but 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 the point is, Joaquin deserved to think. But what he used his platform for, I say platform, he says, was amazing. His his acceptance speech for his Oscar, as it should watch it. I'm, I'm not gonna put it. Yeah, maybe I'll put a link or whatever have you. It really is great. It's what we call an ally in the world of uh, you know uh, ADOS and and people who struggle. He really did. Some, it was an extraordinary speech. You should really check it out. Um, hats off, you know, to Joaquin. Um, and uh, well, I hope other people understand what he's saying because one of the things he said is only the oppressor can stop the oppression. I mean, he didn't say it that way. I'm paraphrasing. Well, I'm putting. I'm. I'm. Just, I'm making it broader. Okay. So if we want justice. Anyway, so. Bless Joaquin Phoenix and, and folks who, who think like that, folks who are truly allies uh, to uh, changing this system, to, to, to destroying this systematic way that, that, that we hierarchy things and, then we, and, we, and we oppress people. That's all I have. That's, that would be half for me, T, from the Madison State of the Transit Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.